Hey, Felicia. Oh, hi, Max. You know, my brother's birthday is coming next week and I'm thinking of buying him a new digital camera. Do you have any recommendation? I'm not really familiar with digital cameras, but why don't you go online, read the reviews and pick the best one? Well, yeah, the problem is there are so many brands and models out there, not to mention millions of reviews about them. Well, it would be good to have a software that can go through all these reviews and try to help you to pick the better. Product. That will definitely be beneficial for consumers like us. Oh, I'll figure it out. Cool, sounds cool at the moment. Computers are bad at understanding English. In our research, we focus on sentences where people compare products to each other and try to understand this specific language of comparisons. We collected reviews of different electronic products and fit it to the software. It helped us to identify the user preferences with respect to the different characteristics and summarize it in a simple ranking form. I'm creating this software that reads online reviews and tries to identify the better product. But now I have a problem, some words are ambiguous and I can't capture it. Well, that could happen when words of different aspects are conflicting. Looking at the model currently, it seems that these parameters that encode each aspect if we can figure out a way to separate them into different parameters, there will be something that would work better. At one point, Maxim encountered an unexpected situation. While one dataset was sufficient, the other was narrowly focused on one aspect. However, we realized that it still provides many realistic examples of comparisons, and it could be used in a simulation to provide insights on how the model behaves as the amount of information per product changes. The software processes many reviews picks out sentences mentioning various products and interprets which product is better. There are various things that consumers care about. Our software produces multiple rankings of products based on characteristics such as portability, functionality or durability. As new reviews are continually being written by consumers, the software could improve the rankings as the new ones arrive, reflecting the most updated view of products comparisons. In online shopping, we must rely on online reviews and product pictures to guide our purchase decision. But isn't it better to look at the differences of the product and pick the better alternatives? And that's what my thesis is going to be about. This software will simplify consumers' buying decisions and improve buying experience for various products and services. The software designed can eventually be a component within a larger application. It can be a chatbot, side-by-side -side comparison service, or a recommender system. Wow, Maxim, this software is awesome. Look at it. It goes through all the reviews for me and it makes my shopping experience so much more convenient. I'm glad to know that the software has met its objective and that it will help to simplify the shopping experience for consumers.